Well, I've been off exploring another island in Thailand and going to the legendary Koh Phangan full moon party, the markets have been slammed on Omicron concerns. The world famous full moon party prior to the pandemic had as many as 30,000 people crammed into the 800 meter beach and is known as a once in a lifetime party experience. Since we were on the island, I had to check it out. And on this night, I guess there were under 1,000 people and nothing was too crazy. Back to the stock market. The good news is that as I'm making this video, the futures markets are up and with a little luck, we're going to have a green day and make back some of yesterday's losses. But we have to remember that it does not take a lot of news to scare the markets and with Omicron spreading rapidly around the world and more countries imposing travel restrictions, today's play is one you want to understand if you're looking to make some fast short-term profits. And in the sports world yesterday, a record 47 NFL players tested positive, and this week multiple sports had to reschedule their games due to teams being decimated with COVID infections. So even though today might be an up day in the markets, we're still walking on eggshells because this market is still very susceptible to COVID news. And while we have short-term COVID concerns, many experts are expecting Omicron to peak in the next few weeks, and with generally mild symptoms, the Omicron scare and stock market correction could be short-lived. Before we get into today's video, be sure to click on the like button and check out beastmodeanalysis.com where you can get all of your fundamental stock data, pull and save your own scorecards, and do side-by-side -side fundamental analyses for multiple stocks at the same time. And if you want to use my technical indicators for think or swim or trading view, those links are in the description below the video. Let's kick things off today with a success story from Volvio. Jerry, I'm up 6.28% on life storage. In a negative market environment, your buy signal stocks are holding better than any other stock and are therefore either gain opportunities such as LSI or portfolio protection stocks. Thanks, Volvio. That's the power of our custom indicators. And AJ said, sold Apple at 169 with 3,200 in profits and still have 27 shares for the long term at an average of $130. Thanks, Jerry. I also cashed in on some Apple profits yesterday, and now I'm looking to wash, rinse, and repeat again. If you're not in my Discord, you're really missing out on our trade alerts, hot stocks, and custom indicators. You see the results every day, so ask yourself, what's stopping you from joining our tribe? All right, now it's time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on, because this is not your normal stock channel. The VIX is the stock market's expectation of volatility based on the S&P 500 index options. The VIX is calculated and disseminated on a real-time basis by the Chicago Board of Options Exchange, or the CBOE for short, and is often referred to as the fear index or fear gauge. Investors use VIX to measure the level of risk, fear, or stress in the market when making investment decisions. For option traders, the VIX is very important because as the VIX rises, so too does the cost of options. How the VIX works. When the markets are falling, investors are fearful and will buy more puts to protect themselves. This increased volume in puts and calls is reflected in the VIX index. The VIX is really a simple, easy, and effective indicator to check the current volatility of the stock market. The higher the VIX, the more concerned you should be with a potential correction or crash. In a nutshell, when the VIX goes up, most stocks go down, but there are a few stocks like VXX or UVXY that go up and down in sync with the VIX. These types of plays are very good short-term swing trades when we have reason to believe that there will be a pullback in the markets. For example, if you think Omicron news is going to drive the markets down, then consider buying VXX or UVXY. But I want to stress these are very short-term plays, so we want to get in and out quickly. Let's jump into the charts to see the VIX in action. We're now looking at the VIX on Thinkorswim, and the important thing to remember is that whenever the VIX goes up and spikes, it's very common for most stocks to go down. Another thing that we want to remember is the indicators are the opposite. So here we've got a buy signal, and this would actually be a sell signal for most of our stocks. We're now looking at the S&P 500 index, and to make this a little easier to understand with the VIX, let's overlay the VIX onto this chart. To do that in Thinkorswim, all we have to do is come over here, we're going to click on Studies, we're going to add a study and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and hit compare with a custom symbol and then we simply type in VIX, V-I-X and hit OK and now we've got an overlay of the VIX and here you can see whenever the VIX goes up stock prices come down in this case it's the S&P 500 here the VIX went up prices are going down big time here and now we're starting to go up again and that's the relationship between these two. 
And there are two stock plays that I like that move in conjunction with the VIX. And one of them is VXX. And this is Barclays Bank. And this is the S&P 500 VIX STF. And here you can see whenever the VIX shoots up, so does the price of this stock. And it happens over and over again. Here it shot up a lot. The stock shot up. And the other one we want to look at is the UVXY. And this is actually normally my number one preference whenever the VIX is going up. So we can see the same relationship. VIX goes up, price goes up. And notice that these are very short-term moves. So that's why we want to get in and get out quickly. So here we had a huge run up in the VIX. This ran up from what, $15 all the way up to 25. So that would have been a real nice gain to capture. And here it hit a low of 14. It's starting to run up right now. And this could be a good play depending on your take on the market. If you you think the market's going to be pulling back, you want to consider buying this. If you don't think it's going to pull back, then you just simply want to watch and see what happens. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you've not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that like button to help things out. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.